Good. All right, let's go. The scientists want to analyze the aerodynamics of Felix in flight. It's the kind of low altitude jump that Felix is used to. But wearing the suit, even unpressurized, makes it a challenge. It's like watching a hawk in flight. I deal with aircraft and we make machines to do certain flight dynamics. In this case, the machine is Felix. At this altitude, Felix falls at around 100 miles an hour. Jumping from 24 miles up, he'll be in a near vacuum. A lack of resistance means he'll just keep accelerating. Faster than a jumbo jet after 25 seconds. Moments later, faster than a .45 caliber bullet. And after 35 seconds, he'll exceed 700 miles an hour. As he passes through the sound barrier, the team want Felix to be in the delta position, tracking head down. They think this will be the safest position to go supersonic. But it's a theory that has never been tested. We're putting Felix into a condition that really has never been done and has never been documented for sure. So we don't know what happens to the body at the speed of sound. What they do know is when an object like a plane goes supersonic, it is catching up with and pushing through its own sound waves. In early jets, this caused extreme vibration. No one knows what it will do to Felix. As he pushes closer to the sound barrier, he may potentially have parts of his body that are supersonic, while other parts of his body are not. You end up with a vibration that could cause physical problems, because your body is very susceptible to vibration or wave patterns. If you get the wrong pattern, you can cause internal damage to organs. We've created computer models, trying to see what we think is going to happen. But after doing all the math, it's still a guess. The test jumps help Felix feel safer in the suit. 